Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Crowd. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is project, oh I don't know what number, but it's the last one of my creative card series. And I thought I would finish with a waterfall card. The one I done last year was extremely popular and I get lots of people asking me to make a bigger one. So I have played around and um, I think I've got it to where I want it to be. I think it works really well. Um, and you can double this again if you want to. So once I start talking you through it, you'll understand more. Now it is still quite plain because I, um, I'm i not sure whether I wanna keep this to use as kind of like a, a mini album, scrapbook, um, journal. I don't know, it, it can be used for all sorts of things, but it is a card. Um, as well so I would say this is again as I've mentioned they're, they're very special so this could be for a big birthday okay so it's got a belly band this is six by it's a big one this one so again you could make a separate kind of um, bigger envelope by eight and a half but it's got the belly band and I plan if I'm to give these to someone I will give them in person um, it opens up so this side here you would have to do your message, you could use it for more journaling, but this is the side where you could also double, so you could have all this again on this side. You would just have to make this wider, which I'll talk through later on. Basically, this is another like little wrap, a little belly band, and it's magnetic, okay? And you open that up. Again, you can have little messages on here. You, you know, this is literally just all the mats and layers done and that's it. Then at the bottom here, you have got your little pull and you just pull along and it will reveal this bigger mat here, which again, you can journal on. Whatever you do has to be completely flush. So I would do it on something very thin, like origami paper or even copy paper. Um, but as you can see there, I'm doing it very slowly just so you can get an idea. And then this is the bottom one stuck down. You could also mat all of these and have more again, but there are 14 of these. And then it just slides nicely all the way back up again. And then I'll just do that one a bit faster. You can see there, it just flows really nicely. And it's, I love it. So this is 14. I think the one I done last year had six. So if you wanna do the 14 and then double again, that'll give you 28 pages on this side. You could then double that up again on this side and that would give you 40, 56, was that? What did I just say it was? I've just completely lost my train of thought. What did I say? 14, that's 28, 48, 56. Yeah, yeah, 56 pages. That's a lot. So like I said, you can make this even more of a meaty project than it already is. But I'm happy with this half. And the reason for this piece here is so that you can stand it up. So I think I've got my bottom there a bit bent, but there you go. So it stands up just like a regular card. Okay, papers I used for this are the, la, 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 the lovely V&A papers. This is the six by six pack. I use the 12 by 12 papers, but that is, and this was in collaboration with the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. So these are all original um, prints um, from fabrics, all kinds of textiles. Um, I've got more there. I've used this a lot anyway, and it's still available and I'll share all those links. Okay, so I'm gonna pop my belly band back on there like so and let's get it into the tutorial okay so I'm not going to list all those sizes of everything as I usually do at the beginning um, just revert to my blog and you can write it all down in preparation because I'm not making changes but I just still want to check that it is 100% as I go along so what I'm going to start with first of all is the um, the main mechanism and all of those um, pages with the layers all on top. So you need a piece of, so this is the default A4 length. Um, you can use 12 by 12 as well. Um, so yeah, you can have this at 12. You could have it at 11 as well. I'm just trying to think if that's gonna interfere. No, I wouldn't go to 11, because I don't think, otherwise I think this tutorial wouldn't work. So A4 or 12. <clears throat> Then what you want to do is along this, the longest side is you want to score from four and three quarters, then every quarter inch. So five, five and a quarter, five and a half, five and three quarters, six and so on. So every quarter until you get to, just going over my ones, eight and a quarter. So eight and a quarter will be your last score line. Four and three quarters is your first score line. 
every quarter in between. And I'll just bring that up and it will give you this. Okay, I missed my track there, you can see where I went off, but it's all gonna be stuck over, you won't see it. Then what you wanna do is burnish all of that. So start with your top one. And first of all, just go along just with your finger and your thumb and just do it that way. Um, and then you can go and burnish over them again with your bone folder just to really um, mark those score lines. So just go along now and get that done. Okay, so that's now what you should have, this kind of piece here that moves really freely with all of those individual little pieces. So now you need all of your pages. So again, if you want to do two of these, you want to do a double, you need to do that twice. And all of the sizes I'm basically giving you, um, yeah, sorry, the, the amounts you need to double if you want more. So you need 14 of these, and these measure the top, the main page is five and a half by uh, four. And then the layer on top, now I've done like a travel theme, so these are maps and patterns and things. So it can work for a guy, but it's also nice for traveling memories. So journaling and things like that for traveling. Um, so this is five and a quarter by three and three quarters. And again, you need 14 of them. Now I've gone ahead and I've already popped them on top. And you can see I've got a variety. I think I've got three different patterns. And that's the order I'm kind of putting them in. Yeah, so I've got the maps are the main ones, so I've got more of the maps, and then in between every other map is that, and then the stripe, then that, and then so on and so forth. So if you're working with a pattern, I would say stack them all in, in the order that you want, because it just make it easy then when you come to stick it all down. So that is that, so get all of those prepared. Okay, so with that piece, I've already just gone along with my red tape, and I've stuck a strip of it along every single one of those pieces that we scored. So there should be 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, I'm using my red tape because it's thin. If you don't have red tape, you only have wet glue, you wanna just run some glue along the bottom one first because we're gonna start from the bottom up, okay? So I'm gonna grab, and now I've already prepared all of my cards upside down. So this, is, this one here is gonna be the one I want at the bottom and I'm gonna finish with a map on the top. So plan the order you want them to be in, unless they're all the same, then it doesn't matter. So I'm first of all gonna take off that one. And then with this piece here, now these are wider than this. So you, you just wanna, wherever it sticks down, you then wanna make sure the next one is in line with this. So this is gonna stick so it is lined up with the score line at the top here, okay? So that's where you're lining it up. So I'm just gonna pop it on its side here. So try and get an even amount kind of overhanging and stick that down like so, okay? So if I just fold that over, you can see there. And then we're gonna be doing stuff with this, but we will eventually stick it down. Then go on to the next one. And then with this one, you now just want to make sure that it lines up with the sides of this. So as I stick it down, I'll put my finger up there just so I know that I'm, again, make sure it's, it kind of hugs the score line. And it all marries up along the bottom there. Okay, so those two now are perfectly lined up side by side with a little bit of the bottom one which is right you want that will be a quarter of an inch it'd be the same width as one of these so i'll just show you another one before i start back so i've got another pattern and then i've got my map so again better if i work upside down actually because then i can really see where i'm going like so okay so you just want to keep doing that until you stuck all 14 of them down. Okay, so I've just stuck down the last one there. So remember that folds over, that's the largest piece, all right? And now you will have that effect there. So they're pretty much lined up. You can see maybe I've gone off a little bit, but it's handmade, that's what it's all about, so don't worry. But it's nice because I get little, you know, the little kind of uh, triangles poke out, the little bits of the stripe, and then obviously the map there. So. Um, what will basically happen is as we pull that, um, sorry, as we, yeah, as this gets pulled, the piece underneath gets pulled down, it will do that. So 
yeah so just go over if you again if you're using wet glue once it's really dry just go back over because you may have gone slightly on the score line just fold each one individually just kind of really working in those um, score lines each time just so you get a really nice flow when you go to um, open and uh, close it or lift or push and pull it even and just finish those ones and the last one there and then that one okay so now just pop that to one side and we'll work on the case because that's the next bit we need before we can then actually kind of put it all together so i am using so it's a deconstructed case with a separate little bind so i have got here let's see how i'm gonna remember how i want to do this yeah that was it so i went slightly i stuck this one down and i shouldn't have but it's fine what you want to do so you will have two pieces of let's just grab my scoreboard again um okay so you will have you will need even two pieces of six by eight and a half okay so these these those are the front and the back of your um card so then you need this piece which is going to be our bind or our hinge now if you want to the one i'm doing is just single so this is one and a half by seven if you want to do it double so you you're having two of these then you will need to have a piece that measures two by the same length by seven now for the one i'm doing you want to score this is a one and a half you want to score at half an inch and at one if you've got a double you want to score at half an inch and one and a half so in the middle you will have one inch whereas with this one we've just got half in the middle you will have one inch and that will give you the room to have that one on one side and the other one and then when they're together you will have that one inch spine so it will all hold in place and it won't kind of um you know all be squashed but if you're just following me then like i said that needs to be one and a half by seven just scored at half an inch and at one inch then what you want to do is stick this on first before you stick your mats on now i went ahead and stuck the mat on my the inside one before i'd stuck this on because basically what you're going to do is just burnish your score lines like so okay and then what you're going to do is this is the front open it up you're going to stick this inside here like so and then inside this one like that then you will put your mats on top so it covers this now because i've already matted it i'm going to stick mine on the back so it's you know it's not going to cause too much of a problem it's just in my case you're going to see that but i might put a layer and a, a mat on the back as well just to cover it but you want to stick them so if i do it that way then that would make more sense to you guys this is the inside you want to stick that one leave the half inch as the spine and then stick that one on the other side make sure they're even from the top and the bottom so let me use my grid here just to get everything lined up so which is good because this is in half inch increments so i've got my half inch gap there and then you want to bring it down Ooh, got all my little bits stuck to me here there what did i say this was eight and a half and this was seven so you want three quarters of an inch coming down on each side so if you grab yourself a pencil just so you know where you are so line my ruler up there so three and a half and three and a half and then again down here three and a half and three and a half and then that now when we stick the first side sits perfectly within those gaps and then you know you're even from the top and the bottom so i'm going to use my wet glue this piece now if you want to mat a nice little decorative piece along this spine here on this side then that would look nice as well you could maybe put a little hole punch there and have a key charm hanging down um, like I said I've just given you the real kind of plain um, base of it all really and then you can you know go to town with it so I'm sticking that down with the score line against the side here of my um, the front of my card 
So you can see what I mean, how this can easily be a, a journal, a scrapbook. Um, you know, people use them for so many different things. So I'm not, still not 100% sure yet what I'm going to do with it. So just make sure that's really stuck down and all your glue's spread out. And just fold it back over again and just make sure it's completely flush there with the back. Okay, and then put glue now. So you remember you're missing the middle one because that's where the spine is. And that's where you might want to decorate. And just put glue on that other half inch, the outer one, like so. And again, just fold that over, making sure it's all lined up with those pencil marks and the very outer side there. So everything should be nice and straight. Okay, and what I've just realised I've done is I have now got that on the back. <laughs> so I've ended up putting it together the right way, but I wanted that inside because it matched perfectly and it's the only one I've got left. But look, it sits really nice. Anyway, it's fine. I will have to sort that out. Okay, so that is now what you want. So that will stand up. That's your card. Okay, with the nice piece here. Now to decorate it all, so you need a mat. So I have got this white mat here. You could do the white mat there, here, and on the back as well. So you may want to do four. I've only got one, um, two, because I think I'm doing one on that one there. So that measures, um, let's just put this flat, uh, five and three quarters by eight and a quarter. Yeah, because it's an eight and a half, yeah, eight and a quarter. And then the layer on top is, um, it should be eight, but it's kind of coming in just under, but it's eight by five and a half. So they're dropping down in quarter inch increments each time to give you that even one eighth of an inch border on each side. So again, depending on how many of them you want, I've got obviously one now on the back. I want one there and one there. So again, you may want four of every size. It's entirely up to you. So I've got my, this one here, which I'm going to put on this side. Obviously, if you're doing a double one, then you will want to have both because it just gives you that strength. Um, these papers here are by Indigo Blue. Um, it's either damaged, dots yeah it's damaged dots i think it is so they're really nice so that one's going to go there and then i've got this one here which was going to go on the back but now i may just put it there although it looks the same to you it's got this kind of distressed look this was do crafts um i guess it makes that stand out quite well so i think i'll go with that so just go ahead now and stick down all of those mats and layers Okay, so I stuck that down. I ended up cutting another piece of blue um, from a 12 by 12 piece. I didn't want to do that, but I do love the blue against here. It just pulls out the, the river in the map and yeah, it just looks nice. So that is now your card done. Yours is either a single half inch spine or it'll be a one inch double. Then I'm just gonna pop that to one side, bring this over. We need to do the... Um, so this is for this bit, so the pulley bit. So this bit here and this kind of mat, we're now gonna do this bit here. So just pop that back in. Um, okay, so you need a piece of, you want a nice strong card really, cause it is gonna be obviously, um, you're gonna be pulling it up and down a lot. So this is um, 300 GSM. This is five and a quarter by seven. Then you want a mat to go on top but your mat wants to be the whole width, the, you know, the whole length of this. Mine isn't because it's from a six by six paper pack, but it matches the papers I've used. So mine may catch, I'm hoping it won't, but it may catch, but you need your, your piece to go on top, it needs to measure five wide, but then it needs to be um, six and three quarters in length. Okay, so ignore the fact that mine is slightly shorter. It may, I'm hoping it's not gonna to cause too much of a problem, but I really wanna use that pattern. Then for your little tab, so this is what you're gonna to use to pull it up and down. The white piece measures two by one and a quarter. And then the little kind of bit to mat on top there is one and three quarters by one. Okay, so what you wanna do first of all is, Oh, get rid of that. 
grab this piece here and open it up and you'll have this big square here. You want to stick this right over, okay, and it will overhang slightly. You can see there it does overhang slightly on each side. That's fine as long as it's even. Um, and you want to stick it right up to that first score line there. Okay, so you're going to cover that whole bit. So this is going to reinforce, but it's also um, going to give you that extra length, which you can't get with 12 inch um, cardstock. So you want to cover this piece with glue. So I'm just going to use some of my Tombow Tacky glue here. And then grab this piece. And like I said, sit it right up and just make sure you've got an even amount overhanging. It mustn't go right over, it mustn't go past these. You can see, even though it's overhanging the piece underneath, it's not going past the actual main width of all those um, cards, panels. So just make sure that's all stuck down. Okay, then fold it back over just to make sure that it's not obstructing, which I seem to have for some reason. Why is that? Just need to rebend it again. There we go, that's fine. Okay, and the whole thing should be hidden. All right, we don't want any of this to be seen. So I can see there, that's it stuck over that one. Then we need to, so with that down, this is now going to be stuck on the bottom of this. Covering, you want to stick it so it's overlapping maybe by a quarter of an inch. Basically, when this comes down, you want to be able to see and have enough to be able to grip that like I have here. Okay, but it can't go past the card. So and you can see the kind of, I've got about three quarters of an inch. So what you want to do maybe just to help you line it all up is get this piece, sit it on here. You're going to have your wrap that's going to come around there. So it doesn't need, you don't want it to come down. Bring it up a bit more. So let me do this one and then I'll be able to tell you. Okay, so you can see now it's got a little bit of the blue, this mat here is just kind of poking through and that's going to be a good place for it because then we've got that wrap which is then also going to be on here. So let me just get a measurement. It's looking like half an inch. Okay, so let me open this up. So half an inch inside this one here. And that's where we want to put our glue. So I'm just going to run a little bit here, like so. Now it's up to you if you want to stick this and it go over your mat. I want my mat to go over this because I want this to be able to be able to be able to, so I can journal on it or you know put a nice sentiment. So again, it's entirely up to you. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I've got so much card. Okay, so just stick that down so it's in the center. And just make sure it comes up to that half inch. You get it all nicely lined up. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, so we can see that now. And then again, lift that up. And now we can stick this over the top. You will, obviously, I'm, I'm going to make sure mine is all nice and I've got the even border at the bottom. Yours will come right up to this here. You'll have that little same border here you will have up here it's just mine slightly shorter remember so again i'm just going to flip this over and just add some of my glue okay so that is now all stuck down and we're ready for the next part so now you need to cut a strip of um i think i've done three quarters of an inch let me just check yeah, three quarters of an inch by, um, this is the same length as my A4 paper. And basically you're gonna lift this all up so that we've got this piece. This is that card piece, it's the, you know, it's not, not this one, but that loose bit of card. Okay, that is the mechanism piece, the one that we scored all these lines on. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick this right on the very bottom piece. So, and you want to have an even amount overhanging on both sides. Okay, you don't need to use your ruler, you can eyeball it. So, you can see there what I've done. 
Okay, now the easiest way to do this is to just pop your glue along here. Now I know it's three quarters of an inch, so I can do that three quarters of an inch. Okay, like so. And like I said, the bottom of this needs to go right to the very bottom of that card. Just making sure I've got an even, as even as possible on each side. Okay, so now we've stuck that piece on there. We can now stick this one over all of that. We just needed to sandwich this in between. So now you can put glue over this whole section. Okay, so I've just got all my glue on there and then just stick that completely down. It's taken me a long time to work this out um, to try and get this bigger one that so many of you have been requesting. So I hope this is all working out for you. Just rubbing off some of the, because I'm using the Tombow, you get the odd tacky bit I'm just using. This is a great, um, this is a adhesive um, rubber, so it takes off all your glue and you've probably seen me use it quite a few times. Okay, so that is now what you should have. This bottom one is completely sandwiched between the base and this piece. So now bring it down, flip it over and you want to just wrap this around like so. Okay, so I just realized I wasn't recording and I missed a cute crucial bit and got really cross with myself and I had to rip it off so you can see here, but it's fine. I'm gonna show you what you need to do and obviously I can easily cover that. This back piece here, so when you open it up, this back piece here, you will have a join here. Okay, now I haven't because I've just covered it, but you will have a join. You need to cover this back piece with another piece of card because this needs to be completely flush in order for it to obviously run through. And that's what I figured out on the one I made before and it was at the end there as well when I added it. Basically, you wanna cut a piece of card that's just under seven inches. So six and seven eighths of an inch will be fine and with a width of um, uh, five and a quarter. I'm sorry, five and one eighth of an inch. And you wanna just stick it directly onto the back of that. So it's gonna be more bulk, but it's gonna give you a really, really strong push and pull mechanism. Um, so don't worry about the bulk because it does still all work fine, but you must put that over the back just to get rid of that little bit because it will catch on your, um, the kind of the bit, this bit here, once we wrap that around like so, okay. When we pull that down, that bit, if you didn't put this over the top, that bit there would catch on this, okay? So have that now all stuck down. Then we can stick these bits over. So you don't wanna glue nothing onto this. You're literally just gluing. I just put a little bit on here, like so. Just fold them over and just glue those together. Like so, and just make sure your ruler can run underneath that there. Okay, so it's all free. Now we need to stick it down, which you can see I already done, but I'm gonna get that all perfectly lined up over it so you won't see any of it. So now just glue that tiny piece. So that is all that's holding our uh, waterfall down. Again, make sure you don't go over onto this. You can see there it's just on that track, that little strip. So now, you want to sit it down. I'm going to go back into place where I was here. But basically just make sure that you've got even border on both sides and your tab isn't overhanging. You should have a little bit of blue or whatever the layer is, this one here that you've got, because the belly band's got a wrap around that. So now just stick that all down. Then you want to get two pieces of we just measure so you want two pieces that are five by two and along the five inch side you want to score at one inch and do that with two pieces if you're doubling this up then you want to do four pieces and then what you're going to do is add some glue on the back like so okay and we'll start at the bottom first what you want to do is pop it underneath this And it doesn't matter if it sticks on the inside of the little bit that we just wrapped around because mine's going to go over slightly 
it might not once you bring it down. Basically, you just want to bring down the score line so it is in line with the, the layer, that matte piece there. So look, if I just bring that down, you can see when it folds over, it's completely lined up with the bottom of that layer there, that blue piece. And you know it's in the centre because it's covering that tab. That's all cracked really badly. I'm going to have to colour over that with a bit of a grey pen or something. But now that will come up like so. Okay, so just make sure that's all stuck down. And then with your other piece, again, I already put glue on that. So I'm just going to go over it again. And this one is then going to go and stick directly onto the blue again at the top. Just pop it like so. Make sure it's lined up with that one and then just stick that down. Shame that's cracked, I'm gonna to have to like distress it or something. So now that's what you will have, okay? And um, we need to test it, I haven't even done that yet. So just pull your tab and it should, just nice and freely, come down. Now mine catches, so I can feel it a little bit when it goes up, and that's because I didn't cover this whole back piece, which I knew was gonna happen. But what I think I might do is put some washi tape under that off camera. Um, but it's fine, it's still, yours will and should perfectly flow, like this is anyway, but all the way down to that one. And that's where mine catches, but like I said, that's because I didn't do that all the way up. But it's fine, it does eventually go through, but it, it's lovely, it's got such a nice, and because that card's so thick now on the back, that is just going to always work for you really well. And again, especially if you've got double, it's gonna, it will look really, really cool as a double one. I'll probably end up doing that another time. Okay, so that's all stuck and I'm happy that they're all in place. So now we wanna layer on top. So these are two layers, which are one and three quarters by three and three quarters. So the one on top can just be stuck directly down. Um, now I'm gonna be adding magnets. So you might just be using some Velcro for this. Um, just make sure, i turn it that way because I can't quite see over the end. Just make sure you've got an even border, like so. Okay, and then we'll be sticking this over the top, but before we put this one in place, so we want to put a magnet down, so, let me just roughly see where that's going to be. Um, okay, I'm going to say there. So I'm just going to put a little cross there. So I'm going to put my magnet at one. Oh, it's um, between three quarters and seven in, seven eighths of an inch down from the center of this piece. I'm going to pop a little magnet there. So I'm just taking one off. I'm going to grab a rather large glue dot because it's all I've got. <laughs> Need to get some smaller ones. Let's just stick that on there. And then just pop my glue dot in the middle. Then I can take off the backing for this. And I'm also going to put a little bit of glue on top of my magnet and just around the area where that will be. And then again, just sit this one down on top. And so you've got a nice even border and just really make sure that magnet's not going to move around anywhere. Now we can stick this down on just this part. So what you can do is I'm going to grab my um, pencil and just very lightly draw a little pencil mark just roughly around there. And basically, I know now I can put my glue all down in this area. Like so. So, again, line that back up with the pencil. Now I can feel where my magnet is. My magnet's down here. So I'm just going to push down so it creates kind of a little bump. But what I can do is put my glue dot on that same area. Like so, I don't know if it's a bit, actually that's too bulky, I don't like that. Let's start again. You don't have to use the glue dots, I just do like to use them just to kind of keep it where I need it to be. There we go, that's better. Like so, and then grab my other magnet. And it will just naturally fall into place because it will want to go where that other one, so I can feel it already 
there we go it's found its home that's where it wants to be and then I've got this one just grab my one to go on top and just cover that and that one will go right over and it leaves the tiniest edge like so and make sure it just sticks over that magnet nicely and then I've got another one here which is going to go on top again but this one is going to go on some foam okay ideally my magnet could have gone a bit higher into this circle but this is going to go over again so you're not going to see there we go and then I can put something else on there again but I tend to just I'll probably leave that blank or put a little die cut with a word on it or something like travel or something will go across there so that is that all done and it fits in there perfectly it's lovely it's such a nice that's what I mean it's kind of in between a card and a scrapbook and a journal and all those other bits so now we need to do the belly band the main one so you need a piece I've got one here and this is check I've got the right width one and three quarters is that what I did on this one yeah one and three quarters and again it's the same length so oh this is 12 actually so the longest you can get you want for this and again let's just get rid of all of this I've got so much paper everywhere I can't wait to tidy up I hate all the mess okay so lining it up with my grid just get as even amount as possible on each side about there and you just want to bring it up bearing in mind you know I haven't put photos and stuff in this yet so that's why I don't like to score my belly bands I just like to loosely wrap them like so okay and now I can attach this with um, some more of my decorative bits there so I'm just going to go and get them done okay so I've just got two there so I'm just going to glue this one and I'm going to do a white one again but that I'll do that once I actually decide who I'm going to give this to or what I want to call it if it's going to be a journal or a, a scrapbook so I'm just going to keep it like so so what you want to do now is again make sure you're happy that your band is where it needs to be like so pop that over the top and again you want to grab a pencil just put a little pencil mark at the ends and again I can rub this all out in a minute but now I can just see where I need to add the glue just in there and in there so don't need a lot just like so and that one there And just slide that on top okay so now while that's drying I can just go around there and just rub out those little bits of pencil like so so that is now all ready that's just plain and I can put another nice white or any color and obviously do my messages but now that belly band will just slide off it still needs a little bit of time just to set and what you can do is just fold it better on those score lines and then just burnish them at least now it's exactly where it needs to be so once again open it up you can see there it's got a nice closure with the magnet and then just open it up I'm not going to pull mine right the way down because I know it is catching because I need to relook at that again which I'll do but it's a lovely it's a really nice gift or just to keep for yourself so there you have it a meaty project but it is lovely and worthwhile and like I said with these things it's a labour of love and I've thoroughly enjoyed them I hope you have enjoyed the last two weeks with all these um, creative cards and um, I've enjoyed seeing your pictures um, reading your comments your messages as always I love all of that um, and it's been another nice year of creative cards for this for this series so um i'll be back again next year but i will be doing lots of great cards throughout the rest of the year anyway but um yeah hope you've enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more thanks for watching bye <laughs>